I think that just really helps people see, wow, what is this about and I want to ask a question. My name is Alicia, I'm a registered nurse. I'm involved in the quality improvement activities for the practice. I help to plan a lot of what they are and then look at how we can implement them uh, into the practice. Sometimes it's difficult to try and get preventative healthcare going with people because they don't always see the value in it to them. There's a little bit of overload in the media about things. So some quality improvement activities have been challenging because you've got to try and find how, how to address that to the person so that they can understand what the value is in it for them. We really enjoyed implementing the heart health checks. We felt that our patients got a lot of, out of um, participating in the heart health checks. They could see a lot of different elements that were brought into those checks that we could then show them that there's so many different factors involved with looking after themselves and their heart. We're pretty visual. We have a lot of visual displays around the practice and in around the treatment room, in each of the consult rooms sometimes even in the bathroom. We put displays around somewhere that people can really see. So we've got the Heart Foundation posters, we printed off some love hearts, and we had balloons and displays and just things that really caught people's eyes. They were sitting in the waiting room, in the treatment rooms or in the consult rooms as well, where they sat with the doctor, they could see the posters behind them. We had the toolkit that we utilised with the brochures, and we like having those displays and we like having those resources available for people to just pick up and look at and ask questions about at any time. They were fantastic and I think that just really helps people see, wow, what is this about and I want to ask a question. Other times too, if they were already coming in to see the doctor for an appointment, then as an opportunistic thing it came up between the doctor and the patient during their regular consult and say, oh, while I'm here, can I ask you about this heart health check thing? And that was an opportunity to then engage and book them in as well. From a nursing perspective, it was great to be able to bring patients in and start having that holistic conversation with them about their health. We were looking at diet, we were looking at um, their lifestyle factors and we were looking at other things to, to do with their health. So that was brilliant. I loved being able to do that. Um, it was also really good from a patient perspective that they got to really be involved. We're giving them the information that then gives them the opportunity to make the decisions about their own health uh, and be involved in planning to improve their health. And I think given the opportunity, a lot of people really enjoy having that support from their clinical team. It was just a really nice way to, to integrate that we are a team here and you have your role to play as the patient. We have our role to play as the clinicians and we can work together to support you to make these changes to improve your health. We certainly got some good results in doing the screenings. Uh, we did pick up on some early cases of patients where they had uh, signs of heart disease that we probably would not have seen for a little while. They were mostly asymptomatic at the time and apart from just having some high blood pressure and a little bit of high cholesterol, we might have just not seen the full picture if we hadn't done the whole heart health check the way that we did it. So it was really beneficial for the patient in that respect as well because we were able to intervene and um, hopefully prevent something more serious from happening down the track. We still maintain having visual displays around the practice. Uh, we still continue to engage with patients. In the back of our mind, uh, we're looking at certain risk factors that might be present for someone and we'll go, okay, you look like you might be a good candidate to have a heart health check. And so we continue to do those on a frequent basis. There are some that due to COVID um, probably weren't coming out um, and accessing services as frequently as they would have previously that have now started coming back out um, and coming to the practice more often. And they have said to us, 
Now I remember getting some information about having a heart health check. Am I still able to have one? So we booked them in. That is a continuous quality improvement. It's something that we will revisit and, and capture a whole new set of patients that was going to benefit from having that heart health check done.